let me start over. The first thing we have here is the timestamp. This is the time that the packets were received. Okay, this packet. Okay, each packet is separated by its timestamp. Okay, and this is local time, local to this virtual machine I'm on. This is a virtual machine I'm on. Um, I think it was Zoe's class. You all were looking at VMs. This is our Linux operating system VM. This is our Windows operating system over here. Okay, a virtual machine is just a computer inside of a computer. So this is our first field of our packet. It is the timestamp. The next field is the network protocol, which is IP. So usually after this IP field, we're going to get we're, followed by it should be some IP addresses. Okay. We'll talk about these a little bit later. They're not too significant right now. So the first IP that we have is the source IP address. The second IP address that we have is the destination IP. Okay, the source IP and destination IPs have four octets. And I think this was in my class when we saw a period and we saw a colon. You're going to see four octets. The first octet. I can't really highlight it. It's one nine two. The second octet is one six eight. The third is two three three. The last one is dot one. Anything after the fourth octet it's safe to assume that it is a port number. So this is using port 5353. This source IP is using port 5353 to get to this destination IP, which is has which has opened port 5353. Okay. And the next field we're going to have here we really don't like how this is worded. I want to do something on the internet. But the next one here is um, UDP. I actually want you guys to see some some packets, some some flags set up, not just a bunch of. So we're gonna have to do a little bit more, and I'm gonna have to do this quick. Go Google.com. I uh, wasn't quick enough. Okay, here we go. We got some packets now. Okay. I want you guys to see some flags. All right, so we stopped at destination IP. So destination IP and the destination source, I mean destination port. After that, we come into the flags. Packets have flags. Remember in class, y'all, we were talking about the Christmas tree attack? And the Christmas tree attack is an attack where all the flags in a packet are set. The send flag, the fin flag, the push flag, the reset flag, the act flag. Well, the packets show us which flags are set. So right here, after flags, we see the flags. S, what do you think S stands for? It stands for sin. Let me start drawing. S stands for sin flag. Okay, that's the sin flag. And then we have F for the fin flag. Now, sin, we're trying to start a connection. Remember with the three-way handshake, the TTP handshake? With sin, we're trying to start a connection. With fin, we're trying to end a connection. We're trying to end a connection. Then we have, let's move this down some more. P, which is for push. Remember, y'all? We're, we're sending data. If you're logging into a website, if you're logging into Facebook.com, you're sending data. You're sending your credentials over the network. So you're going to see a push flag set. R, reset flag. This is when we're trying to reset the connection. And then the act flag, which looks like this. It's just a dot or a period inside of a packet analyzer. This is when we are acknowledging the connection. So with your three-way handshake, you got the sin, then the sin act, put the dot, 
and then the at or just the dot. All right, so what do we have over here? We have the sin flag and a dot, which means sin act, which probably means that somebody's doing a three-way handshake. All right, so this is the flag. You see we have push and a dot, which is a push act. We just have a dot right here, which is just the act. What else we got? We got the sin flag by itself over here. But if, if we saw all of these in one packet, so something fishy is going on. That's a Christmas tree attack. All the flags are set. That should not, it shouldn't be like that. Okay. All right. So that was flags. And after flags, we have the sequence number. Well, this is the checksum. Don't want to confuse you too much about the checksum. It's not really highly irrelevant. I mean, neither is the sequence number, but the sequence number is, uh, this is the number of data that's contained in the packet. This is the number of data for, of the, of, that is contained in the packet. Okay. Then this should be followed by the ACK, the ACK number, I should say. This is the ACK number. So we have the sequence number. Then we have the ACK number. So the ACK number should really, and you don't really, I, I probably just leave that. I don't want to confuse you all too much. And then we have the window size, size of the windows. Then we have a few more options. But the most important part about all of this right here, especially for on the job or interview purposes, is everything up here, especially the timestamp. Timestamp is probably the most important thing here. Because it's, if it's wrong, everything else is wrong. And what product, what, uh, trick question, y'all. Well, not trick question, just random question. What port does NTP use? One, two, three. Here we go. One, two, three. 123, y'all. That's why it's important that our NTP servers are all synchronized and our NTP clients are all synchronized. But this is the TCP dump. Um, real quick, one interview question that you can say based on, or one, if it comes up, some interviewers ask, they'll ask, uh, how can you tell, if I gave you a packet capture, which this is, this is a packet capture. If I gave you a packet capture, how can you tell me that I was compromised? If I told you I was compromised, what inside of this packet would you use to find that compromise? Anybody? Just give it a shot before I try. <laughs> the flags. Mm, there we go. There we go. There we go. That's it. That's it. It's the flags. You can use a bunch of other things. I guess the best answer is the flags. It's the flags. One, where did you connect to? I can I can filter out the packets based off of your connection. The three-way handshake. If I see a synac and an act, I see a successful connection. Now, what happened after that connection? If I find the synac down here, I'm probably not going to be worried about what's up here. I'm going to just start looking for what happened after the connection. Okay, what did you download? A download is a push packet. Push, 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 push. What did you download? If I see, I'm probably just going to filter out for push packets or push flags. I'm sorry. 